I'm going yeah. I'm going to start with this um, piano oh, solo uh, piece this that uh, <coughs> called uh, Elegy for Standing Rock, which is kind of like an invocation sort of tune, and or not a tune at all, but a, a in, like an invocation that had to do with a. Um, well, I guess it was how long ago did that happen in Standing Rock? Uh, it was it, yeah, it was about a year, about a year and a half ago. I so, said uh, I always thought it was. It seemed like it, in a lot of ways it was a great moment with the uh, native tribes. Um, Resisting together, and and the United States uh, Armed Forces also uh, joining with them. So it, uh, when that was going on, and I knew people at different ages around here who even usually don't care about anything, and they went went and wanted to be there, and so I, and I even wrote a song that uh, made me think about it. So it's called "Elegy for Standing Rock." <laughs> Marion Bright.
that seem okay? Seems appropriate. All right, good. <laughs> After that dirge like uh, <laughs> beginning, yeah. And uh, Always Merry and Bright was written uh, for, uh, dedicated to Henry Miller. And uh, Always Merry and Bright was uh, a slogan that he uh, liked to use about his philosophy. And uh, I thought uh, it's Father's Day. And I thought uh, how to tie that in, uh, Always Marion Bright and Henry Miller. And I thought that uh, Henry Miller is the father of the Beat Generation. And uh, fa who is also the father of the Beat Generation is the father of the, the hippies. So uh, he's our patriarch in uh, some kind of obscure uh, way. Uh, and uh, so I don't know if um, so everybody ought to check that out. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's not going to be a whole different card, but we'll debate that later. All right. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
song that I wrote for my father, nice. um, which is, uh, which I, 50 years ago. Wow. Pretty, uh, ancient, this was an ancient song from the old, the old days. <laughs> but um, over this, the years went by, and what sometimes happens with these songs, um, they change, and uh, reflecting on them and changing them. So this one, uh, used to all be in the same kind of time <laughs> and now it has it's changing from the meter of it changes sometimes from like one two three four to one two three one two three and sometimes it changes to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven <laughs> so so you can it's some things to listen for and there's a set there's a measure of seven in it too but um so that's uh, an extra thing to listen for or to pay no attention to <laughs> yeah so Therefore, the times are changing. There we go. <laughs> times are very changing. There we go. So, all right. Um, solo on the whole form. Okay. Sorry. First solo. Want me to? Why don't you first this time? Okay. First How are you doing? All right. Doing all right. Get along. Okay. Yep. All right. We got a medic standing by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. One, two, one, two, three, four.
next went into a Father's Day theme or not. This, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, called, it's a one written for the father of uh, revolutions in South America, for <laughs> <laughs> Simon Bolivar. <laughs> Uh, and I, I played this one before, I think. It, it, yeah. Oh, how nice. And I, I was, um, I was, I, I lost it. No, here it is. I, I made some notes about Bolivar that I didn't really know that I thought are worth saying, because I've, I've played this song before and didn't really have enough information. And Simon Bolivar um, fought in. I don't know how they really counted, but it's it's, so it's a Wikipedia number, 472 battles. Mm. And uh, two-thirds of which they said were major. And he rode on horseback, they estimated 123,000 kilometers in his uh, career. And then in also, uh, that's ten times more than Hannibal uh, covered. And it's three times more than Napoleon covered, who went from France to uh, Egypt and to Moscow and twice as much as Alexander the Great went. But he wasn't conquering, he was uh, liberating. So it's to give him more credit, I think. Liberating from the Spanish and the Europeans. <laughs> and uh, uh, he ousted rulers from Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Colombia. And the, the subtitle of this song uh, is uh, called Bro Bolivar Broken Dreams. And the Broken Dreams part, he said at the end of his life that uh, um, Everything that he had been done was like plowing the sea. That he thought it didn't really nothing had happened yet, but it's still um, juries out. Still, <coughs> the Bolivarian Revolution c continues, and we're going to play this song anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want. do the introduction. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, epic written in the 1850s by uh, Jose Hernandez and uh, anybody who hasn't read it yet should really check it out. It's a wonderful story, poetically written. Uh, the hero is a musician as well as a gaucho farmer type. And uh, we're going to play it for you now.
try that one? Or is it? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Oh, yeah. that sounded good. I guess we could do it like we did before, play the trumpet a lot. The next tune we're doing is uh, a new song called uh, Lonely Man that's uh, inspired by Ornette Coleman's uh, song Lonely Woman. And, uh, it's, uh, it's one of those songs that's different every time. That, uh, we don't really know uh, what's going to happen each time. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, especially because we're going to play the melodica. Yeah. Yeah, so it's right. Yeah. Okay. I'll follow you.
Maxine's Eyes, a ballad. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Two, three, Thank you. 
Trumpet player. No, no, no. <laughs> now I understand why you all showed up here. That was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, Very good. Oh, thanks. That was fun to play. <laughs> now we're going to play um, um, a song called Sare Sasa, which is a uh, mantra. Uh, it's a Kundalini yoga. It's, a, it's one of the, they call it, it's one of the uh, primal, they have this thing called primal sounds. <laughs> and, and nobody knows where what that is. I don't think. And I said like primary colors. I don't really know really what primal sounds really are. But they like it's they think the sound of like the first sound babies make. You know I don't I don't know. It's hard. I think it's hard to get scope on what primal sounds are. But I like the idea. <laughs> Somebody could tell me what. I've I've like I don't really quite get it. But um, they say that the sare sasa mantra is the key to. Um, happiness and, and all the other mantras so okay, it's the first one to learn and I, this one thing I read about it's by this guy Yogi Bhajan said that uh, you could have um, you could have prosperity and happiness even if you were a scoundrel <laughs> <laughs> if you just say this mantra yeah, so uh, there you go it's everybody really? yeah that's really See that, Pete, this whole preview? yeah you can, <laughs> just have to say this like a magic formula <laughs> so we're gonna uh, <laughs> so, we don't. This is an 11. Yeah, that's 11. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah you should. Okay. Yeah. Tell them about 11 sounds. Should I? Or do you want to tell them? You want to tell them? <laughs> Let's hear about 11. <laughs> 11. Uh, so, instead of usually in North American music is one is in all in 4 4, and uh, European music mostly it's all in 4 4. Sometimes in 3 4, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, like it's with a swinging. Uh, two and four accented mostly in North American music and or jazz anyway and rock is is four four but accents usually are on one and three like one two three four one. you were just doing it you know they, you were saying right about the rock and the jazz typically has a two and four and eleven is like uh, um, one two three one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two three one two so it's like a, a waltz with a limp sorry but but it's a very uh, cool time because it, it's complex 11 is a higher number so you can sound like it can be almost like six and five or you can divide it up in different ways so it, it offers complexities and it's um, usually it shows up in uh, on earth in North Africa and in Greece and Turkey and uh, that's it but I think it's it's a great time and uh, and it, there's a sort of a movement to play it play it more often I think in in so-called jazz so we're gonna try our best to keep it straight and uh, and we, we maybe we will that's all right. But we, we got this um, <coughs> cool introduction, all right? And we'll get out of the tune the same way? Okay. Ready? Ready. Thank you. 
Let's see that's up. I was trying to count because I never gave yeah. you a time. Did you get did you think it was? I, um, <laughs> I looked through a couple times, but I lost track. All right. All right. It got too tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Want to do uh, yeah. fulfillment or another uh, up tune or one for Richard? Uh, let's, see. let's do fulfillment. Okay. It's a dip change up. Right? That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can do a slower, um, more abstract piece <coughs> called Fulfillment. What? Us do something abstract? <laughs> 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 <coughs> this is from a tune from about a year ago. So it starts with piano and then we'll do it uh, as a group and then solos. Okay.
<laughs> maybe uh, well, maybe one more tune. Sure. No uh, more tune. Okay, uh, on to uh, DNT. Or right, I'll take suggestions if that doesn't seem good. <coughs> yeah. Happy Father's Day. Is yeah. Uh, would you, what, what do you think? Uh, is is you happy with DNT or uh, <laughs> blues in the studio? Or is you happy with DNT? Yeah. TNT is fine. I'd rather do TNT or uh, or uh, Chaplin. Or yeah. Chaplin? Chaplin might be fine. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do Chaplin. Okay. All right. So our last tune of the evening, we're going to play uh, a song uh, for one of my heroes, Charlie Chaplin, called Chaplin. And this tune uh, goes through lots of different uh, chord changes and uh, time changes. <laughs> And, and then it settles in 11 again. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we hope you enjoy Chaplin. Next time we do this, we're going to put a screen. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Chaplin, yeah. Old Chaplin and Silas. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Yeah. It's the next plan. Where are you going to set that up? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> in front of us. No. <laughs> Just not too fast. Not too fast. All right, what do you think? Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, one, two, let's count to four and then we'll do that. One, two, three, four.
see. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Thanks for thank hanging yeah, in. And that was a great thank concert. You. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, that was really fun to play. Thank you, everybody. Peter oh, Concilio and Glendon Ingalls and Tim Gilmore. Oh, thanks for coming out. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys, every each and every one, for your good spirit. Helping us, helping us play. <laughs> and WCTV Channel 8. Thank you, too. See you on Channel 8. <laughs> Let's see what happened, how we, see how we sounded, how we played. <laughs>